This brand new deep-in weather station miner has just launched in pre-sale and I'm one of the first people to talk about it here on YouTube. The devices ship in November. The projects are backed by Iotex, one of the largest deep-in blockchains and they've already sold over 16,000 devices. Now, as I always say, projects where I've earned the most money was where I got in before the token went live and I've earned over $30,000 on different projects doing this. This is one of those early opportunities. Users who buy now and get a device will also get an airdrop of tokens for being early and for mining. And make sure you stay till the end of the video as I've got an exclusive discount code, Passive Crypto, which can get you up to $60 off if you're buying more than one device. But it's still active if you're only going to buy one device. In this video, I'll go over what the project is and the team. I'll quickly run through the roadmap. I'll talk about the digital nodes which have not launched yet. I'll go through the physical weather station miners itself and how it works. And lastly, I'll show you how to purchase one of these devices, including my massive discount code. You're going to want to get in early as it's first come first served in order of shipping. Right, let's jump into this time sensitive video. Let's head into the Nubula website so we can learn more about this project and what it's trying to achieve. And you can see straight off from the website, it says that it's a distributed ESG data network for global insights. Now ESG stands for environmental, social and governance. And we'll talk a little bit more about what that means and why it's super important. Important. But essentially, it's harnessing the power of DPIN and AI to provide accurate ESG data. And the portable weather stations are one of the tools that they'll be using to gather this data. Let's jump into the white paper so we can learn a little bit more about why Nubula has been set up. So as you can see here, the environmental, social and governance data is something which has been actually mandated by the UN and the UN has actually given ESG goals that they're hoping will be developed throughout the world. And as we're seeing the impacts of the climate change throughout the world, this has been impacting the global economy, costing over $5 trillion globally. And this ESG data, environmental, social and governance data is super important for a number of different industries. So for sustainable investing, large head funds, when they make investments especially in fields such as crops and agriculture they need to be aware of the potential environmental concerns related to that and that's where this data can be useful for investors but particularly for sustainable investing it's important for corporate social responsibility and there are actually some governmental regulations that have been released ensuring that companies meet the csg guidance there are policies that people have to adhere to that's the g governance part of esg for example in paris there was a recent agreement to try and reduce global warming by two degrees and the list goes on and on and this is where Nubula is trying to step in. It's hoping to provide data specifically to the ESG market providing high quality secure and independently verified data which different industries can utilize and make benefit from and their key features are that they are decentralized of course utilizing Deepin, that they use AI to give real-time analysis, that they're able to predict weather related economic activities which is super helpful for the businesses that Nubula can advise, that they have a huge community participation and that they're hoping to build a sustainable network model. And the Nobila team is not new to this sector. In fact, they have over 10 years of business to business and business to consumer startup experience. Actually, one of their team member is a founding member of Galaxy and that has over 150 million Web3 users, which is going to be huge for pushing this project out to the mainstream Web3 community. And they're also boasting some huge strategic partnerships. So they haven't mentioned who, but they say that they are backed by the world's leading provider of weather stations, that they have executives from the largest weather data company in the world. They've got some of the leading US meteorologists, some sustainability experts, and they have an AI director from a mobile app that has over 700 million active monthly users, which is absolutely incredible. So they have a pretty interesting and stacked team. And their founders are doxxed. The CEOs and the co-founders have talked about this project and the reason behind it. And having doxxed teams is super important. I also noticed that they are at the world's largest blockchain conference and they're speaking to consumers at that conference token 2049 and that's also super useful for this project as well it builds credibility now outside of the pretty experienced team Nabila's also got some amazing sales growth they're boasting over 16,000 devices which have been sold globally and over a hundred terabytes of weather data that they've already collected and they've already got key deployments in places like Yosemite which of course is a huge national park 
And as already mentioned, some of the co-founders are involved in the largest decentralized app with over 150 million Web3 users. So they've got a pretty stacked team, but they've also got a lot of use cases and a huge community growth as well. They've partnered with Iotex and they're building on the Iotex chain, which is a D-pin specific blockchain. And of course, Nubila are going to be selling the portable physical weather stations and they've also got digital nodes and I'll talk about that later on. But make sure you stay till the end because I do have an exclusive discount code, which is going to give you a super discount on these devices. I'm just going to do a quick pause here. If you're taking value from this video, especially when I bring you new early projects, why not click a like on this video? It helps with the algorithm and also subscribe to the channel. I've just hit 17,000 subscribers and I need your help to hit 20,000 subscribers. It doesn't cost you anything, but it's a small thank you and it incentivizes me to continue making these videos, right? If you've done that, let's carry on with the rest of the video. Right, let's move forward to the roadmap to see how they're getting on with their plans for this project. You can see in quarter one of 2024, they boasted 60 thousand devices sold and 100 terabytes of data that's acquired they've been building their website their global promotion and now in quarter three they are on track and they're selling their device on pre-sale they're also building up their validator network as well coming into quarter four of 2024 they're going to start the product delivery of course if you purchase today you're going to start getting deliveries from october to november they're launching their data api and they've also got some other new iot devices as well and then in 2025 they'll be launching the platform and their data or I'm hoping that the digital nodes are part of the validator network and that we'll be seeing those being released in quarter three of 2024 as well. So let's move on to part three. Before we talk about the physical weather station miners, what are these digital nodes? Well, as we can see from the website, they're called verifier nodes and these are useful for the network to ensure decentralization. So these digital network nodes will be monitoring the network, the flow of data, and they'll be verifying the data that comes through, focusing specifically on the results from the AI model training. And according to this, by quarter Quarter three of 2024, those nodes are going to be active and running. The Verify nodes, like many of the digital nodes I've talked about, can either be run on your own PC or you can delegate them to a node as a service provider. As soon as the digital nodes go live, I'll be able to tell you about those. But let's move on to the physical device, which is the Nubula Marco. As you can see, it's a very small and portable device. It does look similar to the Sky X device, but of course, these are two projects serving two different industries. The devices are small and compact and they measure temperature, humidity, air pressure, wind speed, and also UV levels. They're connected via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. They've got a built-in 4,000 mAh battery that lasts three days. But of course, you can plug in a solar powered charger, which would make this run autonomously. And of course, we're all about passive income. And you can see here some of the measurement capabilities that this small device is going to have. So how do you get hold of one of these devices? Now, the price on the Nubili website is around $249. But one of the official resellers of of this device and they'll be shipping this out in November is Amp Champman. So as you can see, they're actually much cheaper at 218 euros and that's before you apply my discount. So if you purchase one device, for example, and add the discount code Passive Crypto, the device itself is only 197 euros, which is essentially $220, which is $30 cheaper than you'll find anywhere else. So of course, if you do have the funds and you want to buy more than one device, this option is going to be $61 cheaper per device. So if you want to buy more than one device, if you pick the three times bundle option and use my code, that's going to come in at 509 euros, which is roughly $566. If you were to purchase it through the website, that would cost you $747. So you're getting $181 saving, roughly $60 off per device if you go through this website. And of course, shipping is in November. It's a first come first serve basis, so you want to order as quick as you can. The awesome thing about Amp Chapman website is you can pay in PayPal as well. But that being said, if you do want to purchase it with the increased price for from the Nubler website, you can still use the code Passive Crypto when you place your order. There'll be no discount for you for doing that, but I will receive a bit of a kickback if you do so. But this I found is the cheapest option to purchase this device. Right, that's it from me. I hope you found value in this video. Let me know what you think about the Nubler project. I'm going to do another follow-up video once I get the device and do a setup as I will for all my other devices. That's it from me. I'll catch you in the next video.